is so stupid it's positively brilliant. The brilliant Let's talk about the gold gene. Okay? <laughs> yes. Let's is there a gold that. gene? Because I feel no matter how hard you work, right? No matter how much time you put in the gym, no matter how much time you put in the studio, no matter how much time you put in the stage, if you're not a goat, you just won't be a goat. And mm. and and and, and uh, I told Kevin Love, I said, "Well, Kev, what is LeBron doing that you're not doing? If you if it's just hard work, because Kev, you're six foot ten, mm-hmm. two hundred thirty pound, that you can average twenty and ten at used to at one point. So what is LeBron doing that you're not doing? That he's LeBron and you're Kevin Love, right? Like, what do you say?" I don't remember. <laughs> oh, this is Kevin Love. Shot. This is yeah. a different Kevin. I was when you were saying Kevin, I was like, hey, Well, Kevin Hart said, Well, Kevin Hart thinks it's with work ethic, anybody can be a GOAT. I don't think so. No. I, th- I do I think, think there's a chosen few. I think there's a chosen few. I think there's people that you if you work hard enough, you can get to a certain level, but there's only like a certain amount of people that are just the chosen. I think both those things are kind of genetic in a certain way. There's a makeup mentally of people who have the GOAT ability that is I don't care. I want greatness at all costs. Yeah. I don't need personal relationships. I don't need friends. I don't need none of this. I just need to work and be great. I think I've, Kobe had that. I yes. think MJ had that. Yes. They had the ability, but they also got that mentality. I think Kevin Hart does that to a certain degree where it's like, look, I'll outwork fucking everyone. And I he's think naturally it's, quick and funny, and there you go. I think there's like a small part of like sociopath in you. Yeah. If, if you need to be great. Like, you say you're doing all that shit. Like, you saying, like, you will do anything to be this great. But, like, mm. are you really? Like, yeah. Michael Jordan would... You, like, we say, oh, man, he'll, like, run over his mother for a point. But, like, no, this motherfucker really will. Mm. <laughs> and he has. Kobe, same guy. LeBron, Kobe I think he has the same type of sociopathism Ever. in him. But it just comes off a little bit more charismatic. It's not like Kobe where he's like, oh, man, this guy's such a fucking asshole. Nobody wants to play with him. Mm-hmm. I think LeBron's just more cerebral with his. Than That's what like Kevin Love was saying. And I, I mean, I, you know, I, I think because, you know, the conversation started with me talking to Grunt. <laughs> and um, I said it with me, right? And with me <laughs> talking to Grunt. And um, I said, I, cause Grunt was talking about Tom Brady. And I was like, bro, like, I said, can you really learn something from people like Tom Brady and LeBron? Yeah. And the reason I said that is because they can push you, but they're pushing you to try to be as great as them. But can you really be? Mm-mm. Tom Brady's a fucking anomaly. Yeah. The guy's 42 years old. He just won a Super Bowl last year. You're not going to see that again in this lifetime, no, probably. Nobody's going to push you to be the GOAT. I think that's the competitive advantage if you got the gene. Like, let's say it's a gene. The gene is that you're willing to sacrifice more than anybody else. And I think if you look at any GOAT, they've sacrificed more than anybody around them. Yeah. You know, and um, when you're willing to sacrifice, you stay in the gym. When you're willing to sacrifice, you study harder. When you're willing to sacrifice, you do what Tom Brady does. You find every competitive advantage you do in a game. I remember, I think you even brought this up, Akash, like, uh, Kobe was studying shark movements. Yes, because yeah. he couldn't guard Allen Iverson. Allen yeah. Iverson, yeah. He, he said he kind of moves like a shark out there, so he started studying shark movements to get some sort of competitive advantage playing D against Allen Iverson. Now, that's the psychotic Jesus makeup. Right, right? But like that's what you need to have. <laughs> yeah, that's what it takes. That's the, that's the shit it takes. So it's like you got to apply that to everything that you do. Like they said, Peyton Manning would go through every single play at the end of every year, every single play that he did. Most people don't want to do that. Most people are not going to listen to every set of their stand-up. Most people are not going to listen to every interview. Most people are not going to put in the fucking hard work. Most people want to hang out with their boys. What about the person who does all of that, but they still not a goat? You got to have They're both, just good. So, so here's the thing. I, I don't think... That's where I think shit doesn't exist. I don't think... Um, I don't think that people have that kind of work ethic if it's not matched with ability. Mm. And I think I think that's where you. I don't think there's a guy who works as hard as Kobe, but he's just kind of like okay, and he plays at the YMCA, at YMCA. I think eventually you give up because even if you're, because even the goatest of goats needs positive reinforcement. You got to see some sort of tangible. You got to see results, results bro. yeah. And if like, you're not seeing results, you're like, fuck this, I'm not going to do that. LeBron probably saw himself at like the fifth or sixth grade, fucking dunking on motherfuckers, mm-hmm. and it was like, okay, like I have a superior I have skill something. to these people. Let me hone it. Yeah, like you're not even like some people aren't even in that club yeah. of like talent where you can even think oh. to be like yeah. okay but if I put goes. in the work if I do everything humanly possible I can achieve this level and some people still don't think LeBron's really achieved that level maybe because he thinks a little differently maybe because he's it's a, it's a, a little bit of don't a, get me a wrong. nicer or, or seems to be a nicer guy than a Jordan is or a Kobe is I, mean, I think it's gold like, tears though right yeah. I mean, like, I said, like I said on this podcast before I think it's it's, it's, it's great 
It's kings and it's gods. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I think LeBron is a king. Yeah. You know? Not wrong with What king. did Kevin Love say about him? He said his mentality. He said it's all mental. He said him, he said, he said LeBron would lock in in a way that he just that no like nobody else could. I put I put yeah. LeBron in a different type of like GOAT category though, because with him, you can tell that his interests kind of supersede sport. You know what I'm saying? Like he wants to be looked at on some some Ali shit as as a, a voice, some Magic Johnson shit when that it comes don't matter to business. About the court, though, baby. If, no, I mean, but on the I court, get it, but nah, some back. people when when the game's over, the game's gonna end for everybody. Even there's people in this room right now yeah. that really don't remember Michael Jordan like that. You just say, "Oh yeah, he's the goat," but like you don't remember seeing him like that. Who? That, that's a ton of people. So some people, Michael Jordan's just the fucking guy in the crying face. He's just a meme to a lot of that's people. He's just the guy up. with the sneakers. By the way, that's a goat meme, though. It is. Come on now. <laughs> that's that's a goat meme. A goat but to meme. a lot of people, like, they don't even... Goat meme, goat sneakers. Yes. On-court on attributes yeah. all fade away. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter where you're going, where you going, what you play. That shit fades away to, to everyone in everyone's memory eventually. When we talking about basketball, I agree with you. LeBron James is a god outside of that court. Yeah. Well, by the way, he's a god on it. On the court, but too. But when you're comparing him to other gods, there's other gods that are strong. But what I'm saying is I think LeBron, the way he wants to achieve his GOAT status is trying to achieve all that at once. Because Kobe was an on-the-court well, GOAT, not, but he wasn't that. that. We're talking about like just being elite in one field. On that court, baby. Yeah, we're just talking about like field. a specific thing. Like, Comics. Like, like Jeff Bezos could be the biggest jerk in terms of like how he treats his friends, but mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about that. If you want to talk about a guy who like revolutionized business, mm -hmm. that motherfucker's a GOAT. But that's what yeah. I'm saying, though. But that's what I'm saying, though. Just because he, he's a basketball like if he's player. He's doing philanthropy and shit. No, not, not even just philanthropy. philanthropy. I'm yeah. talking about like business, entertainment, all this other shit like as that guy. We're talking about getting the ball But that's the point of the GOAT. I'm saying if he's the first Here's, person to do up. that shit? The point of the GOAT mentality as we are defining it here is I want to be the greatest at this thing. thing. Mm -hmm. One thing. Singular I want to be the greatest. Because LeBron can't be the greatest human ever. He's more well-rounded than Jordan, but he's not the GOAT human. Mm -hmm. He ain't Jesus. He can't mm -hmm. get close to Jesus. You know what I mean?